Formatting your references to look nice is always a bit more difficult than the rest of the text. The formatting of your reference list by default will be the same as the rest of your text, so they will be formatted using the normal style. And since I chose my normal style to have the text fully justified, this is exactly what will happen with my references. But the danger with that within the references is that you may end up with big gaps between the words a lot more often than within the text itself. And you can see within this reference the big gaps between the words. That usually happens because there are URLs within the references which are quite long and because they don't fit on a row, they're moved onto the next one and then the previous row will end up with fewer words with the spaces between them needs to be stretched a lot more to compensate that and you will end up with more visible gaps. A simple solution to this is to have your reference list left aligned. It will definitely look better than having big gaps. So simply select all your references and choose them to be left aligned. If you're using referencing software, then the requirement for alphabetical sorting when you're using Harvard referencing style will be taken care of by the referencing software. If you're doing them manually, like I've demonstrated here, the order will be the way you place them. You can sort them alphabetically very easily using the sorting option within Word. It's in the Home tab, right before the Styles group and before the hidden markers, you'll see the sort option. It will sort paragraphs, so you have to make sure that every reference sits in its own paragraph. If you're not sure, you can click on the formatting markers and simply check that you have one of those formatting markers at the end of each reference. In my case, that is correct. I can switch off this and choose to have my references sorted alphabetically in ascending order. Click OK and there's my references done.